Assalamu alaikum guys, Ifan back again with another video and in this video we will be looking at prime numbers and prime factorization. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start. What are prime numbers? Now, a prime number is a number that has only two factors, okay? One factor is one and the other factor is itself. Okay, so it will only have two factors. Now, in the case of the number one, that's not a prime number because it only has one factor, which is one itself. So it, it needs to have two factors for it to be a prime number. Let's find the prime numbers ranging from between one and a hundred. Okay, so first what we do is we will write down all the numbers from one to a hundred as shown in the table on the right. Now, the next step is since we have already discussed that one is not a prime number, so we'll fill that box in and uh, so that uh, hides the one. Okay, so we know the first prime number is a two. So what you do is you go ahead and fill in, color in all the boxes with numbers which are multiples of two, except for two itself, okay? So basically what uh, the boxes that you will be coloring in would be like four, six, eight, 10, and so on and so forth, okay? The next step, you, the next prime number after two is three. So you color in all the multiples of three, but not three itself. Okay, now some of them may have already been colored. For example, six, uh, because when you were coloring in the multiples of two, six was a multiple of two, and it's also a multiple of three. So uh, numbers like that may already be colored in. Okay, so now the next number after three, the next prime number after three is five. So you will go ahead and color in all the multiples of five, but not five. Again, some of them may already been colored. For example, like 10, may already be covered, uh, colored in because 10 was a multiple of 2, but it's also a multiple of 5. So that may already have been uh, filled in in uh, step number 3. Now, the next step is you color in all the multiples of uh, 7, but not 7 itself. Once again, some of them may already be covered. For example, 14 is a multiple of 2. So in step number three, you would have already covered, colored that in, but 14 is also a multiple of seven. So some of them may already be uh, filled in. Now, next step, uh, the next prime number is 11. Now we don't need to, we don't need to check for this because uh, if you take a multiple of uh, 11, which is uh, not, you know, not 11 itself, 11 to 11 is 121. Uh, 121 is greater than 100, so we are only uh, looking at numbers till 100. In any case, uh, 11 times 2 is 22, so that would have been taken care of when we are doing multiples of 2. 11 times 3 is 33, that would have been taken care of when we are doing multiples of 3. 11 times 4 is 44, that would have been taken care of when uh, we are doing multiples of 2. 11 times 5 is 55, that would have been taken care of uh, when we're doing multiples of 5, 11 times 6 is 66, multiple of 2, 11 times 7 is uh, 77, so that's a multiple of 7, we have only taken care of that, 11 times 8 is 88, multiples of 2, 11 times 9 is 99, multiple of 3, uh, so basically uh, we, are, we, are, we are pretty much done. Now, all the numbers that are left uh, uncolored these are your prime numbers. So it's two, three, but if you're looking at prime numbers between one and 100, it would be two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. So these are your prime numbers between 1 and 100. So that's how you can graphically uh, 
you know, doing very quick math, you can figure out what the prime numbers are. Between, if, if you, can, you can have a bigger box than this if you want to go from between a one to a thousand. Obviously, you need a bigger box, but the, the process is going to stay the same. Now we look at how to find the prime factors, okay? So as an example, what we will do is we will try and find out the prime factors of 189. Now, a prime factor is basically factors of a number, which all and these factors need to be prime numbers, okay? So we will, what we'll do is we'll look at finding the prime numbers for 189. Okay, so let's start. What we'll do is, in order to find the prime factors of 189, we'll first start with the smallest uh, poss possible prime number, which is a 2. So what we'll do is, we'll first see if 2 is a prime factor of 189. We will take the number 189, and we divide that by the smallest prime number as we just uh, discussed, which is 2. So we'll take 189 and divide that by 2, now we can see uh, 189 is not completely divisible by 2 because we have, uh, you know, when you divide 189 by 2, you get 64.5. We cannot have a decimal. So, uh, be, so basically what that means is 2 is not a prime factor of 189. Okay, so since we know that 2 is not a factor of 189, so we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, try the next smallest prime number which is 3 so when we divide 189 by 3 we get 63 and uh, nothing after the decimal so uh, what that tells us that 189 is fully divisible by 3 and hence we have found our first uh, prime factor of 189 and now we carry on continuing to divide the number by the, by the next possible the smallest possible uh, prime number and see how you know how far we can go and now we divide the 63 that we got after dividing 189 by 3 we take the 63 and divide that by by 3 and we get 21 okay now once again we've got 21 which is again divisible by 3 so we divide uh, 21 by 3 and we are we get 7 now the next uh, prime number that 7 is, is divisible by is 7 itself. So we divide 7 by 7 and we left with 1. So we've got all the numbers uh, figured out. So the prime factors for 189 is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. So if you were to multiply 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 7, you would get 189, which was your original number. So that's basically how you would uh, find the prime factor of, of a given number. Now, let's just quickly do a recap. Uh, we looked at uh, what are prime numbers. We looked at the classical definition of prime numbers. And then we uh, made a grid of uh, numbers from 1 to 100. And we figured we figure out how to use that grid to find out the uh, prime numbers ranging between 1 and 100. And then the last of all, we looked at how to find the uh, prime factors of a given number. So that's it for this video on prime numbers and prime uh, factorization. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.